Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel Power Query tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain using a Power Query in Excel, how to get the difference between two given dates. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final results again. I'm entering the new dates. Um, 14th October 2022 and 19th December 2022. Always remember two date must be greater than the from date. So when I press enter, I need to get the difference between these two dates here. So we need to refresh this worksheet. Go to data, refresh, refresh all. See here we got 66 days. Let's check one more date here. 3rd November 2020 and 3 December 2021. Now refresh the data again. See here we got the new output between these two given dates we got here. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created a new workbook. The workbook name is a book one Excel sheet. Now here in the sheet one I'm adding, it's a from date. This is a from date and to date. And now in these two columns, I'm adding some date here. 24th, 24th November, some date here, 2021 and to date. To date is always greater than the from date. Then only we'll get the difference between two given dates only. So to date is always greater than the from date. So here what I'm doing, 24th November, 24th November, 2022. Now let's find out the difference between the two dates in the C column using a power query. So for that, go to data and the data, first we need to convert this data into a table format. So uh, from data, from table, now we need to select the range I have selected and my table has headers of course my table has headers from date and to date so i'm selecting that one click ok and now after i convert the data into a excel table now in the query editor we got here the data now first thing we need to change the format if you notice here we got the time also here so select this one the small icon I make it as a date only replace current and also this one also date replace current now we got dates here only the uh, to date and from date now the third one I want to get the difference between the two dates so here the most important step we need to remember first we need to select the to date we are subtracting the dates from to to from date to date is always greater than the from date so first select the to date then press ctrl and select the from date so after selecting the both dates now go to add column in the add column notice here from date and time options we got the date here open that one here we got the subtract days click that one see notice here we got 365 days so we got one year difference between these two dates 365 now let's load this data on our excel sheet go to home tab now close and load close and load to i'm selecting the table only now on the existing worksheet i'm selecting um, this one g column g2 cell name i'm selecting where we get the query results here click load and notice here we got and here we got the results is loaded on our excel sheet 
Now what I'll do is instead of subtraction, I'm adding difference. Difference. Now let's check the final output. Now let's check the final results again. I'm entering the new dates. Um, 14th October 2022 and 19th December 2022. Always remember to date must be greater than the from date. So when I press enter, I need to get the difference between these two dates here. So we need to refresh this worksheet. Go to data, refresh, refresh all. See here we got 66 days. Let's check one more date here. 3rd November 2020 and 3 December 2021. Now refresh the data again. So here we got the new output between these two given dates. We got here the difference between the two given dates in the sub. We need to change this. Here we'll change difference. No, no, close and load. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to get the difference between the two given dates from and to dates using a Power Query on Excel sheet. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share and leave your valuable comment. We'll catch you in my next video tutorial.